Hey everybody, this is Fun with Tab, and we're going to talk about two types of numbers prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers only has two factors one and the number, and composite numbers has more than two factors one, number, and number. And we're going to look at some examples to make sure that we understand what prime numbers and composite numbers are. Let's look at some examples of some prime numbers. I have three numbers here. Two, three, and five. So when we find the factors, we're looking for the two numbers when we multiply them that will give us these numbers. So what numbers can we multiply to give us two? That's right, one times two. So our factors of two are one and two. Those are only two numbers when we multiply that will give us two. And how many factors do we see? That's right, only two factors. One and the number. So this is a prime number. What numbers can we multiply to give us three? One times three. So the factors of three are one and three. Again, it only has two factors. One and the number. What are what numbers can we multiply to give us five? One times uh, five. So our factors of five is one and five. These are prime numbers because the definition says prime numbers only has two factors, one and the number. We're going to talk about examples of composite numbers. Last time we saw examples of prime numbers. To now we're going to talk about examples of composite numbers. And remember, a composite number, according to the definition, says it has more than two factors. So let's see what numbers can we multiply to give us four. One times four and Two times two. So these are the numbers when we multiply to give us four. So the factors of four is one, two, and four. Notice that we don't write the second two. We don't need but one of them. So if you have two of the same numbers, we only need one of the factors. So the factors of four is one, and four. So how many factors does four has? It has three factors. One, two, and four. Let's look at their factors of, of six. What two numbers can I multiply give me six? One times uh, six and two times three. Are there any other numbers we can multiply give us six? No, this is it. So let's see what, how many factors six has. One, two, three, and six. So six has four factors. One, two, three, and four. That's four factors. Let's look to see how many, uh, what numbers can we multiply to give us eight? One times eight and two times four. Are there any other numbers we multiply to give us eight? This is it. So let's see uh, the factors of eight. One, two, four, and eight. So it also has 
four factors. And does that satisfy the definition of prime, I mean composite numbers? Which states that it has more than two factors. Does four, six, and eight have more than two factors? Yes. Three is more than two. Four is more than two. And four is more than two. So these are examples of composite numbers. Dr. Fern Hunt, born January 14, 1948 in New York, New York. Education, mathematical biology, computational geometry, nonlinear dynamics, computer graphics, and parallel computing. At nine, she received her first chemistry set. Her favorite color is blue. Her favorite food is fish. She is 76 years old and she is still alive today doing great things in the mathematical world. Congratulations, Dr. Fern Hunt, for, and thank you for your contribution and being a role model for our young females. <laughs>